Hey guys, it's Megan. Welcome back to the channel. Glad y'all are here today. Y'all stick around with me today. I'm picking garden and we're gonna be making some blackberry jam and some of my famous simple dill pickles. So y'all be sure you hang out for that. I picked a lot of blackberries yesterday. Actually, I picked almost, it was a little over a half a five gallon bucket, which I gave some away, um, kept some in the fridge. There was a few that weren't quite right, so I'm out here this morning picking those because it don't take them long to ripen up. And y'all, the heat has arrived. <laughs> it is it is about nine o'clock in the morning and it is already, it is hot out here. I like to make big batches of things like this because it is one of my favorite things to give as Christmas gifts. Everybody loves homemade jams and jellies and the blackberry will be something a little different because I usually give strawberry. So I like to include these with my little goodie baskets that I like to give during the holidays. get our cucumbers picked. Jacob and Andy, oh, here's a good one. Jacob and Andy like dill pickles made out of these little things. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna get get these picked. This right here oh. is Jacob's garden. He's taking care of this. He's kept it watered. He's done the whole nine yards. And I told him the other night, I believe he's got a green thumb like his daddy. And and there's a video about my garden and all of our other gardens, so watch it. That's and right. You'll see, and you'll see my garden. <laughs> That's right. Oh, there's another one of my long ones. I don't know if you got too many little ones. Daddy says a pile of them out there. Now, I'm going to tell you one thing. When you're making pickles, is you've got to go from vine to the pickling stage as quickly as you can. So, huh. yes, we fix them to go straight in. What's a barnacle? And make pickles. Hmm? You got some that are a little too big to do whole, maybe. I don't know. What do you think about this one? What do you think about that one? That one looks perfect. Put it in the it's, it's the perfect big. You think so? Yeah. here make us a few pickles anyway how much you got four big sprigs yeah may need a little more than that thank you this is gonna go into cold water what? 
This is going to help them stay crispy. I'm going to dump a little ice in there. All right, while we're preparing our brine, we're going to let these sit in this ice water. So I'm going to be using my recipe out of my cookbook. You can find this on Amazon. Be sure to look in the description. I'll leave y'all a link down there. But this is a very simple dill pickle recipe. Jacob right now is cutting the end off the cucumber where the flour comes out because that can make your pickles soggy. If that, uh, if that little flour, if there's a, any touch of that little flour left and where we pick these so small, you know, it's a possibility. So he's cutting that off for me. I'm gonna get the brine started. And y'all look over my mountain of dishes. I was at work last night and I hadn't <laughs> got to them yet. All right, let's see. I need... That's some good eating right there. Now let's get to making our blackberry jam. So these are the blackberries that I picked yesterday. They've been in the refrigerator. Really got some big pretty ones out there. The last batch I made I also added some wild ones in. So you can do this with any of them and the main thing to remember is whatever kind of pectin you're using just follow the directions it'll tell you exactly how much fruit to use and everything so that's the biggest thing to remember so what we need for this recipe for my sure gel is um eight cups of blackberries and i think i'm gonna have plenty All right, so I'm just actually going to use all these. It ain't many left. Let me use all those. Put them in my strainer here. We're going to rinse these off. I'm going to look through them, make sure I don't see any stems or anything. So this step here is optional. I'm going to run it through this, what are they called, a sieve, I think. <laughs> I'm going to run a few of them, about, maybe not quite half of them through this just to get the juice out and the rest will be crushed fruit. But you don't have to do this. Um, the recipe does say it's optional. Then I get some of these seeds out, which I did notice these tame blackberries don't have, aren't nearly as seedy as the wild ones. All right. So we're just going to get these mashed. Just gonna throw the rest of these right in the pot. All right, now we're gonna take our potato masher and we're gonna mash up these berries. 
just the best we can. And once it starts cooking, these are a little different than, they act a little different than strawberries. They kind of disintegrate somewhat. So we're going to get all these mashed down. I think blackberry jelly is beautiful. All right, guys, now we're ready. I hadn't turned any heat on yet. Got my berries crushed. We're going to add in our shore gel. We're also going to add in a fourth a cup of sugar per the directions that came with the shore gel. We're going to mix all that in. While we're waiting on this to boil, we're going to get four cups of sugar ready on the side here. Again, this is per the Shoredale directions as to how much sugar to use. Now, I do use the, it's like the low sugar sure gel, so that way I'm not putting like eight cups of sugar in it. <laughs> I'm only using four. Um, I've used it for years and it works. It works just fine and the jam is delicious. All right, we reached a full rolling boil that doesn't stop when you stir it. So we're gonna throw in the sugar that we pre-measured. Just get that mixed in. Then what we're going to have to do, after the sugar is all mixed in, we're going to bring it back to a full rolling bowl for exactly one minute. I love trying new things, and this was something new for me because I'll tell you, I'm married to a picky man, <laughs> and uh, throughout the years, he only likes strawberry jam. He only likes the strawberry. He only likes the strawberry, so that's all I ever made. Well, he tried these blackberries because he doesn't like wild blackberries, but he tried these blackberries down there on the vine, and he loved them, and so I decided I was going to make some blackberry jam. We all ate some the other night of the first batch that I made, and he said... I believe this is better than strawberry. I about fell out, y'all. <laughs> it's delicious. Like, it almost reminds me of, like, a Jolly Rancher or something. Like, it, it tastes almost like candy. It is so good. We're going to set our timer for one minute. All right, usually when you make these jams and jellies, you usually have a little foam on top of it. You just want to scrape that off. That goes to my chickens, too. You just scrape off what you can. I mean, you ain't got to get all of it, but definitely, definitely get most of it. Because I was lazy one year with my strawberry, and I didn't. <laughs> and it had, like, the weirdest texture. It was edible, but the texture was, like, super weird. So don't do that. Learn from my mistakes. That's why I started putting the butter in at the beginning. That's an optional step, that little bit of butter, but it helps this foam from being quite so bad. There we go. That's most of it. All right. When I'm doing jelly, I like to keep my jars in the oven. That way the water evaporates out of them. There's no moisture left. So I get them out one at a time. Because I found the le the less head space I have, the better it keeps. Just to be honest, just that's just from ex my personal experience, anyway. All 
Got my lids and everything in there. I just think this is so darn pretty. Now, I'm gonna tell y'all about this inverted cannon method that I use occasionally. Uh, this is not an approved method by anybody except for a grandma, okay? That's the way I was taught to do it. You do it at your own risk. You're supposed to water bath this, I think, 10 minutes. So, like I said, do that at your own risk, okay? Um, but I'm gonna be honest with you. One year, I decided I was gonna do it the right way, okay? um was taught to do it this way my jelly didn't keep worth nothing i mean we were the i was throwing out jelly in december which it usually lasts me a whole year so anyways i went back to the old way again y'all just do that if you want to <laughs> me and maggie's running around getting everything fed uh, my nephew has a birthday party this afternoon that we're getting ready to head to so we're trying to get everything done before then she's my egg cracker we give them extra eggs and this is <laughs> don't throw that at me Must be nice being a pig and have your own personal swimming hole. Andy got his wire put up today, splitting this pasture in half. If you saw that video, and we were discussing cutting this big pasture here in half. So he got that done. So we're able to move the chickens out a little bit more out into the middle of the pasture to let them do their thing. And they are spoilt rotten. They want to know what kind of treat I bought for them today. This will help cool them off too. Some of this cold stuff. I've got some old frozen corn that I cleaned out of the freezer. But anyways, guys, I guess that about wraps up today's video. Hope y'all enjoyed the video today. I'm glad to have you here with us, learning right along with us. Life's an experiment we don't know till we try. Just like that blackberry jam. We had no idea how good it would actually be. And it, I highly recommend that you find you some blackberries and try it. But anyways, till next time. See y'all later.